Hello, dear children. Today, I'm going to read Hodge the Hedgehog. Look at all these beautiful autumn leaves, gold and brown. Let's see what he's up to inside. Oh, there's mouse on the phone. Hodge the Hedgehog hugged the hedge and he didn't like to share. The other creatures thought him rude. But Hodge just did not care. And he's even got a sign saying, keep out. And poor Mole and Badger and Hare and Squirrel say, he looks really mean not wanting to share with us. Hodge guarded his door to make quite sure none came in his hedge. Night and day, Hodge hugged away. His nose were right on edge. His eyelids drooped. His shoulders stooped. Hodge could not go on. He thought it best to take a rest. But who should come along? It was a grey mouse in search of a house. And he stopped at Hodge's door. And there's Hodge picking up all the autumn leaves, but he's not looking very happy. And there's Mouse walking down the garden path, watching the bluebird in the sky. What a fine hedge, he declared from the edge. Is there room inside for one more? Why should I share? <laughs> Huffed Hodge with a glare. Hoggins, what hedgehogs are for. Nah, I must go to bed. Poor Hogger Hodge said, and he shooed Mouse away from the door. But while Hodge slept, ooh, who's creeping around? Let's see what happens. Mouse softly crept to peep inside the hedge. Wow, what a huge place! There's so much space. How odd that Hodge hugs at the edge. Look at everything. He's got a wingback chair and a table and everything looks like it's all falling apart and falling over and broken plates. Oh dear, I think it needs a little bit of tidying up. Poor Hodge must be lonely, said Mouse. And if only he realized that sharing is fun. Then he had an idea. Oh, I could make it nice here, but how will I get it all done? Hmm, I wonder how you'll fix everything. Look here, there's a skateboard and a badminton bat, the badminton ball, and a watering can, and a mop and a bucket, and bath in a tub with a duck. Quack, quack. So he called Marvin Mole, who told Vernon Vole, who passed on the news to Bill. Who told Harry Hare the others were there and the hedge house began to fill. So word got around that everyone must come together, but I don't know what they're going to do. Shall we find out? Let's see what they're all going to do together. One by one, they joined in the fun. And still Hodge made no sound. So look here, we've got a stork carrying something in the bag and the frog carrying a pot plant and Badger's got a guitar and over here Mole looks like he's got some suitcases and the owl's got a little rug and over here someone's got a little toolbox. They polished and rubbed and painted and scrubbed and hung pictures all around. They swept Hodge's floor, mended his door, and cleaned his plates and cups. And at last, but not least, they prepared a fine feast. And then woke Hodge Hedgehog up. Oh dear, look, there's Squirrel washing the dishes and Frog. And who's painting? Badger's painting. And here is hanging up some pictures, and the stork is doing some flower arrangement in the vase and there's owls sweeping. Hmm. My hedge! Hodge cried when he saw them inside. 
and he haughtily huffed at each one. <laughs> but after a while, he gave a big smile when he saw all the work that they'd done. For to have them inside was quite a nice, he decided. Perhaps his hedgehogging was wrong. See, he looks quite happy that everyone's been inside cleaning up his house. Hodge Hedgehog agreed. It was time indeed for his Hodge Hogging days to end. The more the merrier, Hodge Hedgehog said. And look how much fun he's having with all his friends. The badgers playing music, they're drinking tea, and the hares eating a carrot, and they're playing musical instruments. <gasps> And there's a cake with some strawberries and there's squirrel with all the place for everyone to share some cake. And there's a big sign saying, welcome. And Hodge never hedgehogged again. Well done, hedgehog. Caring is sharing. Bye, Hodge. See you soon one day. Thank you for the fish.